we're going to look at the multiplication of fractions using an area model. We're looking at 3 quarters times 1 fifth. Now, before we get started, let's remember what this actually means in words. It means we're looking for 3 quarters of 1 fifth. So that's a part of a part. So we're looking for something pretty small. Let's start off by representing on our area model three quarters. So if we take our whole and divide it into quarters, we will need to color in three of the four of them. So let's try that. Oops. And we will do this and we will color in three of the four pieces here. It doesn't have to be a perfect coloring. We are just looking for that visual representation. All right, so here are three of the four pieces poorly colored on my representation. Now, this is three quarters of a whole. But that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for 3 quarters of 1 fifth. So that means we need to actually take our whole piece here and subdivide it into fifths. So you'll see here that on this side here, we have it divided into fifths, and then our columns are divided into quarters. Now. Of this representation, our area model, we're looking to color in one-fifth of it. So one-fifth would be this top row here. So we're going to color in all of this top row. So you'll see the stuff I colored in orange represents three-quarters of the whole, and the stuff that I colored in in blue represents one-fifth of the whole. Now, let's take a look. So we're looking for 3 quarters of 1 fifth. So that's going to be anything that is colored in both orange and in blue. And if we take a look at our representation here, it looks to me like there are 1, 2, 3. There are 3 pieces that are colored in both orange and blue. And now the question is three out of how many pieces? So let's take a look here at how many pieces we have in total. So we've got, let's count the rows and the columns to figure this out here. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. There are 20 pieces. So 3 out of 20. So 3 quarters of 1 fifth is 3 twentieths. Because you'll see right here, this is 3 quarters out of something that is 1 